Good luck, everyone, in our box break of Bowman Chrome that's going on around here. We're going to race to see who wins the AL West. And then we're going to start the break here in just a moment. So be ready for that. AL West is on the line. Then we're going to random the, the Orioles between everybody, too. Let's go. Let's see what happens. One winner, and uh, it's um, winner take all. I'm really excited for you. Lucky number seven on your mark. Get set. Go. I want to see a big hit come out of this Chrome box. I think we're due for a really big, big monster hit. I think we're due for something crazy good. Craig's been running away with this thing the whole whole race. But here comes Paul. Look at Paul go. Oh my. Ho. Oh. <laughs> Man, KG. What happened, bro? Oh man, it was that bum knee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> KG KG were you in the race KG wasn't even in the race I think Kevin's due Kevin S is due for a race win but KG yeah yeah you still lost it <laughs> silly yeah I don't know how Paul did that man Look, he's Paul's still running. He's still running. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's start at the box break. Congratulations, Paul. I bet you that's Paul's first race win because. Uh, I don't think he's been in a lot of races. I think he's kind of newer or something. I'm real curious now. I think he's a newer guy. Like, I don't know Paul right off. I'm trying to think of how I know Paul. He's kind of newer. He's been around here and there. Okay. Been around. That was a good race win. All right, let's see what happens. Let's do it. Let's see what we get. Oh, yeah, we got to random the, the Orioles. Somebody's getting ready to get the Orioles for free. My gosh. Seven times through, uh, after we get everything situated here, we got 29 names. Twenty-nine names. Seven times every team's an entry to win the Orioles. Winners at the top after seven, as long as it loads through. We'll find that winner. For the Baltimore Orioles, you never know. That could be a monster hit out of there for the Orioles owner coming up. Lucky number seven. Uh, Frank G owns the Orioles in the box break. Congratulations, Frank. Ho. Is all you man let's get a big monster hit up out of here some kind of one on one
Yeah, it is playoff time. Postseason baseball has almost begun. I think the Blue Jays are fighting. There's still like one one or two teams left to be determined, but most of all the teams have been determined who's getting into the postseason baseball. The Blue Jays, I think the Marlins are fighting still somehow or something. I have to actually look into that. It's all going to be decided over the next couple days. I mean, there's really only a couple days till the playoffs begin. All right, here we go. Nice Jackson Merrill Fall League. Arizona Fall League. Merrill. Nice Julio Rodriguez. There's a shimmer. Nice red shimmer. <clears throat> Ethan Salas, that's our guy, right? He's the number one player to get in here. So that's a really good rookie card to have. Bowman first of Salas for the Padres owner. Hope. Nice. Jordan Walker rookie and there's our first hit it's for the Mets congratulations with your autograph rookie young buck Frank G boom Bowman first rookie young buck autograph hit all I can see is some of the details here. He weighs a buck eighty. He's six foot. He was signed by the Mets in 2023 as a free agent. Pegged as a number 27 prospect. Got a little ink coming through the card there. You know, that's a kind of unusual. Number 27 prospect in the international class. Okay. Well, that's something. Look at that. Wow, that's low number. That's going to be a good one to have right there for the Dodgers owner. It's number to 50. Signed with the Dodgers, a 17. And so that is a nice low number parallel of him. Congratulations to the Dodgers owner. And that's going to be one for Craig right there. Brooks Lee. Mike Trout. Iconic Tamar Johnson. Brady House Prospect Process. Perez Oroki, Wander, and what is this? Dominguez, Fall League. Come on, Treasure. Let's go. That's cool. This is one of those international cards. That's cool. Number to 499, Netherlands. Nice. Those Otanis are big like that. I mean, that's like a short print type card. Look at this autograph of Ronald Hernandez. Oh, Frank G. Wow, National League East ends up hitting real good. Two autographs for that division. Surprise, surprise. 
My oh my. There's a really cool Michael Harris to have for the Atlanta Braves owner. Michael Harris. Riley Green rookie card. There's Gunnar Henderson. Bryce Harper. I heard Bryce Harper went off on the on somebody the other day and like threw his helmet into the crowd. I think he went off on the umpire. And just just went a one. Just lost it. Oh, look at that. There's a nice parallel for Frank G. Right there, number two hundred and fifty. Wow, this is pretty good. Rated as a number 20 prospect in the class by MLB Pipeline. This is really good. Slotted 17th on Baseball America's Rankings. This kid's got it going on. Oh, did you see my Norfolk Tides won the uh, uh, championship, man? They're, they're going to AAA championship rounds now and stuff. Yeah, they advanced for the first time since 1985 from that division. And they produce big names. I mean, Norfolk Ties are really good, but they have not won, won the whole thing like this. And going to the AAA since 85. I'll have to show the stats on that. Anyway, it was really cool. That they were able to do that, and uh, I guess they're going to be playing some more baseball here. But um, yeah, check that out. Uh, nice going, Frank. We got more Chrome coming up. We got some other breaks too. They're going to come up and rip. Frank really killed it though. He got the Orioles parallel. He got the two autographs for the NL East, and just came away with some.